My name is Maimuna Dukure and I'm the director of Cuties. Look at the description of this movie. Look what it says. And think about the fact that there are people out there defending this movie. How girls see that the more a woman is overly sexualized on social media, the more she is successful. As of right now, I don't know which adult would feel comfortable watching this other than the fact that there are that many critics who are positively rating this movie. Monsters. That's what they are. They're monsters. The French film Mignons, English title Cuties, is coming out on Netflix on September 9th. It tells the coming-of-age story of 11-year-old Amy, who comes from a conservative Senegalese Muslim household. After seeing a group of girls dancing, she decides to join them and it opens her up to new experiences with femininity. The film premiered at Sundance Film Festival, winning the World Cinematic Directing Award. The film and its director, Maimouna Dukure, have received a lot of backlash after Netflix picked it up and scheduled its release. The original poster for Cuties featured the four 11-year-old main characters walking down the street, celebrating after going shopping. However, Netflix put the film up as coming soon with a new poster. This poster featured the main characters in provocative dance poses wearing revealing outfits. Writer Beth Elderkin compared the two posters on Twitter. Left, the French poster for Mignons, a French movie by a black director that comments on hyper of girls in modern culture. Right, how Netflix is marketing it. Twitter users argued over if the French poster was any better. Both are terrible. The hell is your point? How is the first one terrible? It's just some girls walking down a street. Unless you find a bit of midriff to be inherently sexual, I find nothing wrong with that first picture. The film's poster wasn't the only thing to catch the viewer's attention. The description also raised a lot of concern. On IMDb, the film's description is, Amy, an 11-year-old girl, joins a group of dancers named the Cuties at school, and rapidly grows aware of her burgeoning femininity, upsetting her mother and her values in the process. The original Netflix description read, Amy, 11, becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew. Hoping to join them, she starts to explore her femininity, defying her family's traditions. Viewers were disturbed that Netflix would put out a film about twerking 11-year-olds. There is a movie called Cuties on Netflix. I saw the poster of it and I was pretty much stunned at what Netflix did. Bad enough the movie was made, although I'm sure the person who made the film had a legit reason. Still, Cuties is a movie that should never had existed. Cuties movie, hyper as a child, has her rebel against her conservative Muslim family to join a twerking competition. If it was a movie about a Jewish girl with a similar plot, it would have been shut down straight away, but y'all ain't ready for that conversation. The reality of the film versus the Netflix description are different. Viewers argued that Netflix intentionally chose the more sexualized description. The creators of Cuties are now hiding behind you're racist if you boycott it, and it's actually critical. And honestly, this is what normalizing looks like gaslighting and guilting. Welcome to this On August 18th, the trailer for the film was put onto Netflix's YouTube channel. The trailer seemed to further upset viewers. Netflix is seriously cancelled. How dare the parents' unfit selves even let their child participate in something so degrading like this? Anyone who defends a movie like this, you're the problem. And the reason why Hollywood is pushing in America. I love how the antagonist is just a mother who doesn't want her underage daughter to be on August 20th, Netflix released a statement regarding the photo and description for Cuties. We're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we used for Mignon's Cuties. It was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film which won an award at Sundance. We've now updated the pictures and description. The description for the movie was changed to, 11-year-old Amy starts to rebel against her conservative family's traditions when she becomes fascinated with a free-spirited dance crew. Even with the description changed, viewers still weren't happy. It's not just the artwork and description that was inappropriate. I hope everyone cancels their subscriptions. Problem solved. Now everyone enjoy this movie about twerking 11-year-olds because it won an award at Sundance. They make the mom look like a villain for not letting her kid twerk and dance like that. Netflix, we are truly sorry. Also, Netflix still hasn't removed this video. Viewers even threatened to cancel their Netflix accounts. Will you be getting rid of cuties? That's the only way I will purchase your service. Not to mention others leaving it because you endorsed the film that sexualizes children. It's horrifying to see a show in the mainstream blatantly 
hospitalizing 11-year-old kids. If this show is still there by next month, I am canceling my Netflix subscription and so should you. We don't give a Cancel cuties now, or we will cancel our subscriptions. Some viewers were upset that Netflix chose to promote and release cuties while canceling some of their popular shows. Come on, Netflix. How you cancel Altered Carbon? First cuties, now this I'm trying to hold on to my subscription, but you keep making it easier to want to opt out. So, Netflix cancel a big successful project as the OA and approved I like cuties? Some viewers thought that the movie promoted Islamophobia. First the Messiah, then Nadia from Elite, now Cuties. Netflix is really obsessed with us Muslims, huh? It's the misrepresentations and Islamophobia for me. I don't understand why the whole Muslim family thing was part of it. Like, we've got enough Islamophobia to deal with, and now Islam is associated with child I don't know about you, but Netflix Cuties has anti-black and Islamophobia vibes, and that's just the beginning. A Change.org petition was made to petition Netflix to cancel the release of Cuties. As of September 2020, it has over 100,000 signatures. Actress Tessa Thompson tweeted a statement supporting the film. Cuties is a beautiful film. It gutted me at Sundance. It introduces a fresh voice at the helm. She's a French Senegalese black woman mining her experiences. The film comments on the hyper- of pre-adolescent girls, disappointed to see the current discourse. Viewers had mixed feelings about Tessa supporting the film. Tessa, this is the worst take I have ever seen. What the f I think of this more as a situation similar to how the book Lolita was handled in the States. On the European book covers, the man was clearly depicted as a but in the American book cover, they paint the girl as the one who's seducing the man. Netflix basically did that. Okay, but I'm gonna need everyone in the US to stream Cuties Mignons when it comes out on Netflix to make up from all the bad things y'all been saying for the past two days. It's heartbreaking to see everyone tear down a film they haven't even seen. Tessa wasn't the only one supporting the film. I read a bunch of reviews from the Sundance premiere, and Cutie sounds really good. And also, Netflix has a really up the marketing. Anyways, it's Netflix's fault that Maimuna Dukure's Mignons, Cuties, is receiving such harsh critics and such poor ratings everywhere, even though it's not even out. Now that you know it's Netflix's fault, give the movie a real, honest chance. Maimuna Dukure spoke about her inspiration for the film with ScreenDaily.com. There were these girls on stage dressed in a really fashion in short, transparent clothes. They danced in a very suggestive manner. There also happened to be another of African mothers in the audience. I was transfixed, watching with a mixture of shock and admiration. I asked myself if these young girls understood what they were doing. I came to understand that an existence on social networks was extremely important for these youngsters, and that often they were trying to imitate the images they saw around them, in adverts or on the social networks. Viewers believe Netflix failed the director with the poor promotion. The director of the film Cuties, Maimuna Dukure, is getting threats and so much harassment online that she has now deleted her Twitter. All because Netflix f***ed up and marketed her film as a wet dream instead of what the film is actually about. The fact that the concern about the way Netflix marketed cuties has led to online attacks of black woman director Maimuna Dukure is infuriating. Netflix decided how to promote the film and Netflix had nothing to do with the making of the film. Ask them what was wrong with the original marketing. This movie is about the negative effects that come from the hyper of black girls. The director is being attacked and accused of supporting the very thing she made the movie to fight against because someone at Netflix thought this was cute. On September 9th, the film was released on Netflix. Twitter users were upset. Bruh, there's so many people praising cuties, so I took a peek into it. It's disgusting. You're all disgusting. If you found this movie good, you should be put on an FBI watch list. I Hate Twitter, man. Netflix released that Cuties movie about twerking 11-year-olds. Fuller clips of the film are now circulating. It's way worse than I thought, and I thought it would be extremely bad. Very explicit sexual dancing, girls grabbing themselves, crotch shots, etc. These are children. Some users defended the film. Cuties on Netflix is heartwarming, even nostalgic in parts, and holds the power to move you to tears. A raw portrayal of the coming-of-age experience of girls growing up in orthodox households, eager to break out of confines but lost in the real world. Do you realize Cuties is actually a movie criticizing the sexualization of children heavily, and that Netflix just really up the marketing? Look up the original French trailer. The day after its release, cancel Netflix began to trend. 
Twitter users were upset to see the movie was more explicit than the trailer made it out to be. I hate cancel culture. I despise the psychology of it. I'm disgusted with the methods, but what disgusts me even more is this movie. And I'm not gonna cry when there's one less streaming service trying to monopolize others, causing multiple subscriptions. I'm not gonna link to the videos of the 11-year-old girls twerking and humping the floor in cuties, because it's borderline child- Netflix has to remove this film, and now. Many Twitter accounts linked to the Rotten Tomatoes page of reviews for the film. 90% of critics liked the film. However, only 5% of audiences liked the film. Some of the audience enjoyed the film and believed the marketing was its downfall. I received a lot of hate because of its terrible and misleading marketing, but it doesn't deserve it. It's a thoughtful, honest, timely, and rewarding and poignant coming-of-age drama that offers commentary on religion, feminism, and child- Socialization. Those themes and subject matters make it hard to watch and sometimes disturbing, but it treats them with honesty and nuance. Never mind the Netflix marketing blunder that probably resulted in a few people being fired, this movie is not about that poster and it deserves respect. Touching, tastefully filmed, with elements of faith and great performances with an outstanding one by the lead character. However, a lot of the audience was upset with the film. This very well may be the creepiest, strangest, cringiest movie I've ever seen. Started off strong, assumed what was coming, but couldn't know. 11-year-old cringe exorcism to graphic twerking that needn't be in any movie. I tried, and this was not it. A sign of how far we have fallen morally. Disgusting. The film has caused quite a stir online, to the point that people are willing to cancel their Netflix subscriptions because of it. And now that the movie is released, the controversy has not died down. Netflix has apologized for the marketing errors, but viewers don't seem to be willing to accept the apology. At the end of the day, viewers might have to watch the film for themselves in order to decide if it's problematic. What do you think about this story? Did Netflix make a mistake promoting this movie? Or is it all just a misunderstanding? Let me know in the comments below.